Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Brittany and I'm happy to have you here with me. Okay, so based on the responses that I continue continuously get on my Instagram after posting, you know, like DIY hacks, small business hacks and how to's, then I decided this is the perfect time and platform for me to start this series, Small Business 101, where we talk about business hacks, we share different hacks, with each other in the comments and I share with you guys what I have learned so far. So for this video, our focus is gonna be DIY customized tissue paper. Whether you're selling something like skincare products or hair care products or clothes or shoes or whatever whatever the case is, you may be considering using tissue paper for your packaging. Now, especially as a new business owner or as a new business, you don't wanna break the bank buying things like customized tissue paper for hundreds of dollars when you know your customers are gonna rip them up anyway, right? There's no point in doing that, especially when you're first starting out. Now, I eventually want to order some bulk uh, customized tissue paper, but I couldn't find an affordable one. So if you guys do know, if you're watching this and you do know an affordable printing company, then feel free to leave that down below. But until then, I am gonna continue to do this DIY hack that I actually got from my little cousin who sent it to me from TikTok. So shout out to TikTok hacks. And so if you are a business owner or an aspiring business owner and you want to know how to make your own customized uh, tissue paper like this one that I made here, then keep watching. All right, you guys, so you're not gonna believe how unbelievably easy this project actually is. All you need is some tissue paper from Dollar Tree. I'll say it again, tissue paper from Dollar Tree. And I want you guys to repeat it with me. Tissue paper from Dollar Tree. We are not breaking the bank for things like tissue paper, period. Okay, so you'll need tissue paper. You'll need some tape, a pair of scissors and some construction paper. All right, so as you can see, I have the construction paper here towards the edge, but not all the way to the edge of the tissue paper. You can see the space that I left out right here and right here. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the remaining two edges so that it is just like the other two. And I do it this way so that I can save some of the paper. So I usually actually get um, two customized tissue paper from each sheet. So like I said, I'm just leaving some space at the edge. It obviously does not need to be perfect. I'm gonna cut this part eventually anyway. Okay. So we're gonna cut this all the way to the edge. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, relax, now that I'm on camera, you wanna be acting up. Okay, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't have to be that neat. So, now I'm gonna do the bottom. I hope that this is in the frame. So at this point, you should have something like this. What we're simply gonna do now is we're going to tape the edges of the tissue paper to the construction paper so we're gonna just do that so that it is secure there's no like specific way to do it there's no specific way to tape it we just want to make sure that it is secure so we're just gonna go around and put tape on all four sides and then we'll be back okay so we're done taping now and it looks like this this is the back that we taped and then the front should look like this with the tissue paper as for the layout, you guys, I literally did this on Word. I have my uh, logo saved on my computer. So I literally pasted it on Word and I copied and pasted it uh, multiple other times. Then I manually positioned them in this position. But obviously there are different ways that you can do it. You can do them straight across, you can do them straight down. It's up to you, but just so you guys know, I did this myself on Word. And now we're gonna move on to printing. So all I did was, this is the same thing that we taped earlier and now it's sturdy enough to stand in a printer by itself. So I literally just put it in the printer and now I'm gonna print it. All right guys, let's see how it's gonna come out. Perfect. 
Okay, so if you've been following the steps, this is where you should be now. You'll sh you should have your customized tissue paper, but it's still gonna be taped to the construction paper. First time I did it, I just tore it, but like the edges were torn, so I didn't really like that. So I decided to try my uh, paper cutter, and this is the first time doing it, so I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but we'll see. Like some of the sides are cut off anyway, as you can see, so it really doesn't matter how straight you cut it. Um, well, yeah, you want it to be straight, but I mean, like, it doesn't matter if it cut off some, cuts off some of the lettering. All right, so I'm gonna do this part. And I'm gonna do all the other parts. I'm not gonna take off too much off of here. And if you have space, then really you could just cut off the space that's at the top. So consider this when making your layout on Word. Leave some space on the edges so that when you cut it, it doesn't take off too much if you're worried about that part. All right, so we're almost done. This is so exciting to me, guys. I love doing things like this. All right, so this is the last part to do. I'm not cutting off the letters. I'm just cutting off the extra white piece. Alright, so it should be able to come off now. Oh, I didn't do this side, guys. Right, so now I'm going to do the last side for real quick. Okay, so it should work now for real, for real, for real. All right, so then you're gonna end up with this, which in my opinion is literally perfect. Why would you spend hundreds of dollars on tissue paper when you can do it yourself in literally, how many minutes did it take? So this is the final product. These are two examples of how I would use the customized tissue paper. Um, this is exactly what I was going for. I think it adds a nice little touch to your packaging uh, and I'm satisfied. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys and I hope that you appreciate this DIY hack, which I feel is a way for new business owners to save money. If this was helpful, please comment below and let me know. If you like videos like this, I'll be happy to do more and I plan to do more in the future. But if you have specific hacks or specific questions, please feel free to comment below as I'll be working on those videos for you guys. Um, if you do try this method, let me know if it worked for you. Um, this works for me and like I said, I'm going to be doing this for a while until I can afford to buy bulk order of um, customized tissue papers. But for now, this works and I hope that you guys find it helpful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.